little bit of a debate here. You know, people have been talking about five-day work week, should it be shorter, so five-day work week be the same. You know, and it's been about, about 50-50 on that. But I want to get your opinion on that. Evan. What do you think about it, man? So it's interesting because obviously – this is a very interesting debate, and I'm curious if other people have it. If you do, leave it in the comments. Um, I don't know if there's a correct answer. So I think with, like, as you've seen with COVID and all that, a lot of people's work, you know, even their longtime jobs, like my mom's schedule got a little mixed up. She was at that company for 20 years. Or just people, you know, essential workers who are working at grocery stores and stuff like that. Of course, like my friend Jake, um, you know, their schedules got mixed up a little bit. And, you, you know, I also worked at Amazon where – their full time is considered four days. It's not five days, but it's 10 hours each day. So it's still technically the 40 hours. Um, so the the debate, I think there is definitely a debate over whether, you know, four or five is appropriate, but it's the hours. The hours is the real trippy one because take full time. Full time is 40 hours, right? There's 168 hours in a week. So that's about, I did the calculations. That's about 23%. So that's not like 40 hours. sounds like, oh my gosh, 40 hours, right? That's not really that much of your time when you take into account sleeping and all of that, of course. Um, you know, so I think uh, I I probably prefer the normal five day a week because it's simple, right? You just you go to work five days and then um, and then you're done. Of course, it depends on the job, right? Um, but um, you know, the flexible options are something. But the you know, everyone who's saying bring it down to four days, but only thirty two hours, why? Like what I'm wondering is why, because I get it would be really nice, right? Like like a whole less day at work, right? Um, but, but is that gonna save costs? Is that I've heard it might save energy, like technically, uh, you know, if you're not driving to work every day, but still, I mean, you're getting less work done. So, you know, if it's something pretty important company, then that's gonna that's gonna add up. But um, I'm gonna turn over to Jake just really quick. Jake, since you're a full time worker, what do you what do you feel on this debate? But, yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, you keep it simple, five-day work week. You know, um, people say bring it down to four days, 32 hours, but I don't get it because it's less money. It's less money. Um, But, yeah, I just think you keep it at the five-day work week. I think you get a lot done in five days and think that, you know, just keep that five days. Just should be simple. Yeah, and especially with, like, the, you know, coming off of COVID, right? Because that's why how the, when the, most of the schedules got mixed up, of course, there was some before of it. But coming off COVID, say if you wanted to go down to 32 hours, which a lot of people, I guess, have wanted, right? Um, well, wouldn't that have the opposite effect? Because we're already short staffed. So you're, you're telling people, don't show up for eight more hours. And they're right They're, they're going to be even more short staffed. So, you know, um, Jake, who works the nights, he's going to be like, well, one less night for me. But, you know, grocery stores and everything, even just big corporations, you all need it. But um, so I think, yeah, just to cap it, I think it's a fair debate. It's just when you're talking about lessening hours, we really, we really got to think like maybe, I don't know, maybe you have more lunch breaks or something or, um, but you really, when, when you're subtracting hours, you got to think about the negatives too. Oh, see more lunch breaks. I would, I would, uh, I would be all right with that though. <laughs>